There are certain child actors that were part of our childhood for so long, they're considered part of the family as they've grown up in front of our eyes. Some of these child stars were born into the industry while others stumbled upon the craft to escape harsh circumstances. Actor Robert Richard falls into the latter. Richard is known for sitcoms like Cousin Skeeter and One on One. Arnaz Ballard was a love interest of Kyla Pratt's character, Brianna. Despite the will they, won't they relationship between Arnaz and Brianna, the two remain close friends throughout the series, along with Spirit Jones, played by Cicely Johnson. Arnaz had a love for music and a complicated relationship with his parents, which many fans of the show resonated with. The actor brought charm, wit, and authenticity to his role as Arnaz Ballard, which is why Robert Richard will always remain unforgotten. Born and raised in Los Angeles, while growing up in the South Central Crenshaw area, Robert Richard would admit that he didn't make the best decisions as a kid. In 2020, Richard appeared as a guest on the More We Know podcast and was asked about his early life and how he got into acting. There's a lot of gang activity, which I was a part of. I had a lot of energy. I was never one too shy away from a fight. Luckily, one day, I was outnumbered by a rival gang and I went into a random building and that building just so happened to be an acting school. I think all the energy that I had that was doing stuff that was destructive became something that was constructive. While in the building, Richard signed up and sat in the back of the room. He felt like he didn't relate to anyone else in the acting class, so he would often sit in the back. However, when the instructor challenged Richard by asking if he was scared to participate, he jumped up at the chance to prove the professor and perhaps himself that acting was something he could do. In the class, Richard excelled at the muscle memory, improv, and monologue games. It wasn't long before he began booking official gigs in the industry. Richard attributes his success in Hollywood to his commitment to the craft. Where I Live, which starred Dougie Doug, and coincidentally, Flex Alexander. This was Richard and Alexander's first sitcom roles. The two would reunite nearly eight years later for another sitcom that would become both of their most recognizable roles. In a 1998 television special titled In His Father's Shoes, Earn Richard a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Performer in a Children's Special. This award win allowed Richard to stretch his legs in the sitcom world by appearing in an episode or two of the shows like Hanging with Mr. Cooper, The Jamie Foxx Show, My Wife and Kids, among several others. His first main role was in the Nickelodeon sitcom Cousin Skeeter, which made its debut in 1998 when Richard was just 15 years old. In 2020, Richard told the story of how he got his role in Cousin Skeeter. At the time, Richard had done a few projects with Nickelodeon, so the network signed him to a contract with the intention of creating a show with Richard starring in it. I went to Orlando and then they brought the puppet out and I was like, what the hell is this? They said, this is your cousin. And I thought, really? Are you serious? So we shot the pilot in Orlando. Me, Megan Good, Bill Bellamy was there. And then the show got picked up and we did three seasons of Cousin Skeeter. It was great. In 2001, Cousin Skeeter was in his final season, and luckily for Richard, he would end up scoring another iconic role in a sitcom. This one arguably more memorable than his last, Arnaz Ballard in One on One. Arnaz was Brianna's love interest throughout the sitcom's five season run. Arnaz wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer as his character fell into the dumb character archetype, often the victim of insults from his peers, particularly Flex. In an interview, Richard spoke on his experience with One on One and his relationship with co-star Kyla Pratt. I've known Kyla since we were little kids, so it was like having my little sister there. Obviously, everyone knows that we were romantically involved in the show, Brianna and Arnez, but she's like a little sister to me. I think that's when I learned in acting, there's that meets the eye. She was like family to me. I wanted to protect her, but on the outside, everyone's like, are you dating her? Are you dating her? One on One ran for five seasons and aired over 100 episodes before its cancellation in 2006. The final season was a bit of a departure from the previous four as Flex Alexander, Cicely Johnson, and Kelly Perrine were not invited back for the last season. Season five featured Richard and Pratt as the new stars of the show, catering to a younger demographic. Unfortunately, because the series got rid of so many fan favorite characters, fans did not stick with the new formula, which caused its cancellation. As one on one ended its run, Richard would stumble upon his next noteworthy role, Damian Carter in the film Coach Carter. According to Richard, he was approached by the real life Kenneth Carter, whom the film was based on. 
Carter told him that he was making a movie about his life and he wanted Richard as his son. The one thing Carter hadn't figured out yet was deciding between Denzel Washington or Samuel L. Jackson to play him. When they called me in for the role two years later, they told me I wasn't going to get the part because I was too light skinned to play Sam Jackson's son. So I ended up not getting the role and they auditioned like 1000 other kids to play my part. No one ended up being the one that they wanted so they finally brought me back in. Sam Jackson's the one who hired me. He's the one who had my back from the beginning. Rashad would later go on to get recurring roles in series like Veronica Mars, Meet the Browns, The Vampire Diaries, and Empire. In an interview, Rashad revealed that he was originally considered for a main role in Empire. When the show was created, they wanted me on Empire. They wanted me to play one of the sons because you know, Terrence Howard and I, we favor each other a lot. It ended up not working out, so I was always kind of on the radar. Since 2017, Rashard has been a cast member on the web series, The Rich and the Ruthless. That same year, he appeared in the film, The Fight That Never Ends, originally titled California Love. The film was based on a true story and follows a white activist that works at a community outreach program who falls in love with a local gang leader. The film stars Alan Payne, Krista B. Allen, Drea Michelle, and Columbus Short. Interestingly enough, Rashad plays the role of gang leader John J. Hunter. In an interview, Rashad revealed that his character was originally slated for the late rapper Nipsey Hussle. Rashad spoke on how it felt to carry the torch that Nipsey had left behind. He's a good man. He's leaving a good message behind for our kids and a message about health too. He was really trying to put the attention and the spotlight on things that were injustices and things that would be better for all of us. I see it fit that if God wanted me to do it, that I should do it with all my might. With several more projects that have yet to be released, Rashard has been a force in show business for the last 28 years. Longevity and relevance in Hollywood is far and few in between. We're lucky to have seen Rashard's presence on screen improve with grace and experience. The character of Arnez has been imprinted on those who grew up watching one on one and that has now been carried into the new generation, which is why Robert Richard will always be unforgotten.